So next we're going to talk about subjective performance evaluation. What is that exactly? Well, the unsatisfying book definition is that subjective performance evaluation is a performance evaluation and or compensation judgment and decision making process. We oftentimes refer to managers that have discretion in evaluating and compensating employees. Subjective performance evaluation takes various forms. You can think about subjective performance evaluation occurring or taking place before an employee acts. Examples of this are managers being allowed to use their judgment to set budgets, identify measures, and so on. A lot of discretion takes place, however, during an accounting period or even after it. We refer to that as ex post with respect to the employee's actions and decisions. Examples include changes to a budget or expectation or target that occurs throughout the accounting period, subjective assessments, so realizing what an employee has actually brought to the table, and populating a measure oftentimes referred to as how much of a team player this individual is or how creative they are. These are up to the managers to make judgments and decisions as to how to rate the employees. There's also discretionary weighting of multiple metrics. Oftentimes we have multiple measures and managers are allowed the right to combine those measures in whatever way they choose. This is actually a common mechanism for adjusting budgets as well. And then of course there's discretionary or subjective bonuses and bonus pools. That is the manager realizes how well the employee performed and they determine how much of an existing bonus pool that employee is to receive. And of course the, the idea of promotions is also very subjective. This occurs after the employee has quite a bit of experience and has taken a variety of actions and decisions, perhaps over the course of years. Managers then reflect on those and evaluate the performance and decide on whether or not the employee receives the promotion. The common thread throughout all of these is that the manager's judgment, their decisions, their discretion in essence, feeds into the evaluation and compensation process. Now there are benefits to subjective performance evaluation. Specifically, this evaluation mechanism overcomes obstacles that are imposed by a purely objective performance evaluation system. That is, if things are too formulaic, subjective performance evaluation can offset that, that, those limitations. It provides a mechanism by which outcome influential factors that are not included in objective measures can be incorporated in evaluation and compensation decisions. There are some primary costs of subjective performance evaluation, however. First of all, with respect to the employee or the individual being evaluated, the evaluatee, they might play to what he or she views as the evaluator's emphasis. There might be a poor reaction to past compensation decisions. Perhaps they're thinking about perceptions of fairness, etc. From the evaluator's perspective, there are limitations as well. The evaluator might use their own preferences as, as, as opposed to those of the firm. They might be biased in some way in favor or unfavorably towards certain types of employees. There's also suboptimal or inconsistent use of information. When we allow humans to make judgments, they're not always the most consistent beings. So this noise in the performance measure that results can be difficult for employees to anticipate what the appropriate courses of action are. And of course, there's a whole host of other biases that individuals have. Things like the halo effect, where once you have a positive experience with an employee, you tend to see them in a positive light going forward. There's other biases like leniency. Managers oftentimes have difficulty delivering bad news. So they evaluate employees higher than they should be in a lot of cases. These biases in, in, induce costs of subjective performance evaluation. And ultimately, it's up to the firm to balance whether or not the benefits of subjective performance evaluation offset those costs.